In the following circuit, we're going to use loops in order to solve for V1 and V2. Uh, to use a loop, we need to know where where does it well in what direction does it go, and where does does it enter the the voltage source. Uh, so, well, we first throw a loop in this direction and another one in this direction. They both have to go in the same direction. So, it, the loop enters V1 uh, through the negative side, so it would it would be negative V1. Then it enters one volt with, through the positive side. And, and five volts to the positive side. So we have net of V1 plus 1 plus 5 <coughs> equal to 0. So we pass the net of V1 to the other side and we have V1 equals to 6 volts. And in the, in the next loop we have that it enters uh, it enters Five through five volts through a negative side, so it's negative five. It enters two volts through a positive side, so it's plus two positive two. And it enters V two through a positive side, so it's plus V two. So now we have V two equals negative five. No, we have negative five plus two plus V two equals zero. So V two equals 5 minus 2, so V2 equals 3 volts. Thanks for watching. Bye.